Hey everybody, it's yet another rocket day. This video we're calling a Ballistic New Year. I'm just with Casper today because he's the only guy available, but he's going to help me out. And we have quite an assortment of rockets today, starting with our small mosquito-like windsock rockets to judge the air currents in the upper atmosphere to some quite big ones, actually the biggest one we've ever done. The last two rockets will be some experimental rockets with an alternative deployment method. Take a look. We hope you enjoy the launch. All right, so that's two rockets that have uh, bad motors in a row, which is terrible. This is the third rocket, lithium B64. That's why we do three. See if we can get one up. All right. Three, two, one. Nice. Go. Boom! Hey, look at that working. All right, wind, come our way. Uh, it's trees. Oh. Trees, ladies and gentlemen. But, worked good. All right, here is a uh, drop fin, and it's number four. It's got a C rocket in it. We'll see how she does. Go. Three, two, one. Very nice. Oh, that's two full deployments, ladies and gentlemen. And that is coming down in a way that is either going to hit a tree or not. or not. Here we go. Oh, it's tree. No. No, I think it's fast. That's recoverable. All right, Casper thinks it's recoverable, though I did lose it. But that's cool, we'll have a look on our way out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've moved up to boron. That would mean it is element number five. This is another C-12-6 rocket. As you can see, it's a little bit wider. Perfectly squared off fins. Let's see how this deployment method works. Go. Three, two, one. really straight and it oh well it's a i think it's working it's kind of coming right at us oh and i think this is definitely gonna be recoverable or tree Oh, wow, really good, man! Here's the engine. This is the engine, which was easy to see coming down because it's so bright against the blue sky. Cool. As we work our way up the periodic table, this is a carbon C12-6. We expect 925 feet. And uh, I gotta keep my shadow out of the way. Three, two, one. Ooh, ooh. Very much off course. I lo probably lost that one, but I got it now. It's well off course. But it did deploy. It did deploy. I see the engine tumbling down. Uh, we just, it's pretty far away if you can see it at all. But it looks like it's going to end up in the field or hopefully, on top of the school. Hopefully not on the roof, but no, it's drifting. It's drifting. I've lost it in the trees, Casper. I. It's on top of the school. I saw it. Oh, okay. So that's on top of the school. We don't like it when that happens. This is the only rocket that was in a launchable condition from last launch. So this one is a second generation. nitrogen second generation. It's a D16, which we expect it to go... Oh, I forgot I didn't put how many feet we're supposed to go, but I'll imagine it's around 800 feet. So let's have a look. Three, two, one. Oh, that was really nice. And that is a successful deployment, except I don't see the streamer. 
so it's going to be coming down rather fast. And that might be that rocket's last launch. <laughs> Mostly. All right, CSI Rocket has determined this rocket is relaunchable again. As you can see, so here's what a, happened. There's a little bit of damage up here. Oh, uh, well. But that's okay. That, yeah, a little bit of damage is kind of a problem. Yeah. But what happened is, is this got tangled up. All right. Now, as you can see, we're going up in thickness. This is the oxygen. That means it's the eighth rocket. And it is a D-16-4, about a thousand feet. All right. Three, two, one. Kinda squirrely, but ooh, it kinda. Uh oh, that has reached ballistic stability, which is bad for it. <laughs> CSI rocket. Okay, Casper, grab it. Let's see what happens. It looks like it landed on the bottom, actually. Wow. And ooh. this part. The whole front end got pushed into yeah. the whole back end. No idea why that didn't deploy. Hmm. But given by this shape, Maybe it bounced, like Casper. Oh, yeah, maybe. And then... Yeah. And the force in the heavier part of the top. Was... Right. Right. All right, well, that one's probably not going to... Oops. Go ahead. This one here is uh, the aluminum. Number 10. It's a D16. It's kind of a... Uh, reminiscent of the mini nuke from Fallout. Three, two, one. Wow! Pretty stable, a little squirrely. Really high. Whoa. Uh oh, ballistic stability. It did not pop, it's coming down like a missile. Also, very much in the trees. Or the field. Maybe in the field. We'll take a look on our way out. That one did not work. No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is rocket number 10. Rocket number 10 is known as Neon. It is the first 24 millimeter, AKA Big D, um, that we're doing today of two. And then we'll move into the E's. As you can see, it looks short, but it's very fat. Three, two, one. Oh, all right, we got good deployment. Or I thought I saw it. I, I think I see it, yeah. It's. Up there. All right, I gotta turn. The sun is all right. I think we're gonna be able to recover it. All right, it's gotten ballistic. Ooh, Crash. Good. Well. Okay, CSI rocket. Obviously, you can see that the streamer broke. It was meant to be a meter long. It's obviously a few inches. It came down very quickly. Oh. And how does it look? Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot Could worse. Pull it right back there. I think the only broken thing is... Is right here. And here. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much doomed, though. Yeah. All right. But pretty good. This is uh, fluorine. I have misspelled it. Um, it's a D-127, a.k.a. Big D. As you can see, it's quite a big rocket. Um with that belly and sort of arrow fins. All right, ready to go, Cap? I am ready. Three, two, one. That was a good really good launch. It's an, oh, it's already on its way back down. And it has deployed absolutely perfectly. They always go right in the sun. I think we're going to get this one back. I think 
so too. These we are, are getting it back. Right wow, pretty consistent. Yeah, we got three in the basically the same spot. Yeah. That's good. Okay, here we have quite quite a big rocket. Um, this is the sodium. It is an E98, which is a 24 millimeter E rocket. We anticipate this rocket will go almost 1,500 feet. So let's see if we get her back. Three, two, one. Kind of squirrely, but stable mostly. No, it hasn't popped yet. Oh, uh, that's ballistic. That is ballistic because I think something bad happened. Oh, man. Oof. Oof. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, bad. So that's hit the ground or a tree. It's in a million pieces. We won't go after it. It's in kind of a thicket. I wonder what happened. That should have been fine. All right, this is the largest rocket we have ever attempted to launch here at Haldale. You can see how big it is compared to Casper. Casper's about 6'5", by the way. Um, and uh, we are getting ready to launch that. That is a E26, also the largest rocket we've tried to launch here at Haldale. Uh, in volume and also the engine power is the highest we've done here. So we have done more powerful rockets at Kimmy's house, but not here at Haldale. So let's give it a shot. All right. Three, two, one. It wasn't very stable, it was very loud. Is that coming toward us, Casper? I don't know. My, I really hope it's not a tree. It might be it's, where we came from, actually. It might be the lower field? I think it is the lower field. I think that is... Lower field! field. Alright, wow, that was crazy! That was so okay, so that was the first time we launch one of those and it was much louder than we thought and it worked very well though the rocket wasn't very stable very so i squirrely. definitely have to work that out so that's uh we have two more and these two that we're doing are uh prototypes for a different way to deploy the recovery system that is going to come out the back so let's see how those work and then we'll wrap it up for the day just two more okay this is the first one it'll go about a thousand feet with a c12-6 and again, the way this is meant to deploy is through the back where the engine is. Now, um, hopefully that will work out. If not, obviously I've made a mistake, but we'll see. It is theoretically possible. We'll see how well I've executed. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, it launched right. It's going toward the lower field. It has deployed. It does not look like it worked right. It is, is it ballistic? Uh, I think something happened, but lower field. Yeah. All right, we can get it to the lower field, which is good because that's where the car is. Oh, that's where the car is. Okay, here we go. This, I obviously have some, I gotta do some more better design, but let's see if the concept works. Three, two, one. Pretty good. Straight. Deployment. Uh, oh, it did it. not deploy right. What? It just, what's happening? Oh, hmm. So, so my alternative deployment method did not work at all. 
um, compared to the old deployment method, but we'll have to see what happened. All right, let's collect up our rockets, Casper. All right. I've been Doug Bergfeld with Casper Bergfeld at Haldale Middle and High School for a ballistic new year. Thanks for watching. <laughs>